What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. The Galaxy S23 FE has been the subject of so many contradictory rumors lately, that it's enough to make your head spin, especially if you follow the news as frequently as we do. The debate is centered on whether or not Samsung would produce a Galaxy S Fan Edition for the second consecutive year or if the Galaxy S23 FE will truly be produced. According to what we're hearing, the former appears to be the case. Samsung really does plan to release a Galaxy S23 FE, and it will do so somewhere in the fourth quarter of 2023. Also, it might include a surprise for you one that might or might not make you pleased. In contrast to the Galaxy S23 series, which debuted earlier this year and is only powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon chip, Samsung appears to be reversing course with the fan edition. In all markets, including the USA, the Galaxy S23 FE will be powered by the Exynos 2200 chip. According to what we've heard, the Exynos 2200 chip, which powers the Galaxy S22 series in Europe, will also power the S23 FE. If we're being really honest, the Exynos 2200 was Samsung's debut sock with an AMD GPU and was quite a mess. This is likely why Samsung decided to go all-in with Qualcomm for the S23 series. By the time the Galaxy S23 FE is released, the Exynos 2200 will be over two years old, so hopefully it won't bring the kind of problems we saw on the Galaxy S22 range. In fact, if Samsung intends to employ the chip for the US market, where consumers and Samsung supporters have been, it had best make sure that is the case. Anyway, let's talk about some other Galaxy S23 FE specs that we have learned about. One of the S23 FE's biggest upgrades could be a 50MP rear camera. The S20 FE and S21 FE use the same 12-megapixel rear camera as the standard S20 and S21 models, and with Samsung upgrading the main camera to a 50-megapixel sensor on the non-ultra Galaxy S22 and S23. We guess it's only natural that the S23 FE get the same upgrade. The S23 FE will come in 128GB and 256GB storage tiers, and we assume there will be 6GB or 8GB of RAM accompanying that storage. We also learned that the S23 FE will have the same 4500 mAh battery as its predecessors, likely with 25W fast charging. Though we won't say no to Samsung doing a little charity by adding 45W charging support while keeping the price of the phone the same as the S20 FE and S21 FE. And finally, it seems Samsung is bringing the model numbers for the Galaxy S FE series in line with what it has been using for the flagship S line since last year. The S23 FE will have model number SMS711X notice the 7XX series of numbers here. This is what Samsung also uses for the Galaxy Z Flip lineup, indicating that while these are high-end devices, they aren't supposed to be considered proper flagships. While we make sure we only put exclusive information out there if we trust the source, it's always possible a few details could change by the time the new phone makes it to market. As usual, we'll keep you updated whenever new information pops up, so stay tuned. Share your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.